Welcome for Oracle support website. Uh, here in this uh, demo, I'm going to explain you what is Oracle support and what are the things we will do it here. And I'm going to show you the navigation. We know that Oracle has got a lot of products like Oracle, Oracle eBusiness Suite, Oracle Fusion Cloud, like this number of tools and products are available in the Oracle Cloud. So once client buy these products or once client start using the facilities, Oracle Cloud servers, this is all, then if there are any issues or updates, how we how the client can communicate with Oracle. See, if it is some, if we buy some product, generally what we'll do, we'll maintain uh, we'll we'll communicate with them through over the phone, or we'll send an email, or we'll raise a request, right? So we must have some communication channel. So Oracle is providing this website. Earlier we were calling it as MetaLink. Now we are going to call it as Oracle Support. Oracle Support, excellent uh, web platform provided by Oracle. Okay. So this generally clients uh, will have the access to this. Clients, uh, whenever they buy some Oracle products, Oracle will give the access to this website. But nowadays, Oracle has given the permission to even uh, private users also. It means like uh, individual people, somebody wants to gain some knowledge, right? So in that scenario, Oracle is providing this uh, for the individual consultants also, okay? So I am here to explain about this. In, in fact, even in our uh, when we are applying for a jobs in our resume also will specify, I'm experienced to interact with the Oracle consultants with Oracle consultants by raising the SR service request and also interact with Oracle team and close the issues, these things. So when client is using the product during this process, so if there are any errors or bugs or performance issue or any other functionality we are not clear, we can easily communicate with Oracle. Of course, Oracle will charge for that. That clients will take care of that entire uh, process and other things. Okay, so here once we log into the applications, first page we'll find dashboard. Here we'll find the news, like uh, latest news, which Oracle is providing, like what are the things are there available here. And knowledge base is basically uh, whenever we want to search for a particular product. As I said, uh, we have n number of products in Oracle, like uh, more than 100 products are there, right? So Oracle Fusion, Oracle EBS, Middleware, Java, OCA, integrations like this, right? So we can search and recently whatever the white papers uh, we have seen, uh, white papers in the nothing but a document uh, solution as given by Oracle. For example, you are facing some issue, uh, like uh, let's say you are working in uh, cloud fusion payroll and you have some issues uh, while generating the pay slips, how we can go for troubleshoot. We need to uh, understand uh, what exactly the problem and uh, how it can be resolved. And there will be attachments also, which are very helpful for us to improve our knowledge, especially when we are working in the project and all this, okay? So here we can find technical service request. This is the place where we can go for create uh, SR. We'll get some number here, your problem summary, and uh, based on the CVRT Oracle, will uh, go for uh, a reply providing the reply and who is the contact person and status and of course we can go through the knowledge and we can find all our service requests which has been raised by us generally whenever we are raising the service request we have to be very careful uh, because it's not like just uh, raise uh, each and every issue we have to be we have try we have to try maximum or level best to get uh, the solution for that if still not coming and if there is an issue with the product then we can go for communicate with our Oracle team that's uh, raising the service request here there will be a patches and updates generally this will be taken care by the dbas and uh, admin person even functional consultant also will uh, try to get the patch but applying and testing will be done by the uh, team of this dba our admin person we are not going to work with that here it is as functional consultant we used to raise the sr we will go for create a technical sr here and we can see that i'm not going to raise as it is my office 
uh, SR. And here we can see the CVRT, one complete loss of service, nothing but emergency. Within hours, Oracle should close that. Uh, CVRT two, it means a severe loss of service. Within one day, we have to close. CVRT three means minor loss of service. Four or five days time will be given for Oracle team for closing that no loss of service. There might be some old issues uh, which is not at closed and we'll ask them to complete whenever they have a time, like no loss of service. So whenever we are going to raise a problem to Oracle team, we are supposed to choose what is the CVRT and problem description. Error code is not mandatory, it's an optional. And we are supposed to choose the product. Is it Oracle Fusion Finance or Fusion HCM? or our Oracle Cloud integrations or Oracle Cloud infrastructures, like what is the version, language, database and all. If it is something related for cloud, then we have to choose this tab and go for raise the issue. Once we complete the SR, we will get a number, service request number, which will be attached with our email ID and we'll have Outlook integration, obviously. So we'll be directly getting the email from Oracle and we'll have a communication with that. So this is how we are supposed to have SR integration means communication with the Oracle, okay? So this we are going to put in our resume that experience by creating the SRs and interacting with our Oracle team, uh, gather the information and try to close the issue with Oracle team. So like that, we have to go for explain in the interview point of view. So whatever the service requests we have raised so far, we'll find here what is the status and what is the track tracking of the service request. This is all we will find. Okay, And we can search with uh, like uh, any issues are there, something, and you can go for, uh, try to download any important documents. For example, Oracle Fusion payroll base clip customization. So we would like to go for customized uh, pay slips and we wanted to work with this. So what, what could be the standard, how to add a custom logo to pay slip. So it's an excellent document as given by Oracle. See, we'll get a complete uh, solution for this. What is the goal? How to add a custom logo to pay slip? What is the solution? So go to navigator reports and analytics. We know that we have to go for a particular BI environment and we need to download that pay slip, PK pay slip or US play slip, whatever is there. And we have to identify exactly where we have to keep our logo and try to upload it. Okay. So this is how we are supposed to uh, utilize this Oracle support website, improve our knowledge when we are working in the project. Okay. Thank you.